This patient is is 38 year male. He got a right side shoulder pain, right side horner. He is a heavy smoker, 40 cigarettes per day, more than 20 years. His ESR is 65. Of course. And this is his chest X-ray. قد نرايت أبيك الليجن. yes right mostly mostly right rounded أبيك الليجن in the right abysses of the lung. this is everything above the clavicle called abysses of the lung. and this is the upper zone between the first and the second and the third. this is the upper zone of the lung. the 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 third, fourth and fifth the middle zone and below is the lower zone. Therefore, there is a rounded, well circumscribed yes. lesion in in the upper in the upper part of the right lung, the abysses, and what else? Then homogeneous obesity in the left. Yes, there is there is a peripheral lesion here with what with calcified lesion there. This is mainly pleura because it doesn't respect the anatomy. Therefore, the most probably pleura with with pleural reaction also and there is apical lesion in the in the what in the left side obliteration of the apex with infiltration there what is this there for yeah could be this is a tumor because the patient is a heavy smoker but usually but usually a high dotted here in this in this area is unlikely Usually high dotted, we, we see the high dotted in the mid and lower zone, usually, and, and okay. less, less commonly in the apices, especially in the, the apics. Retrosternal goiter, can you see any? Retrosternal goiter usually in the middle, yes. not on the right yes. completely, or not on, nor in the, on the left completely, yes. and what else? Secondary is Mumkin and Caliban. What? Cavity, cavity, and Asperger's alone, or the Mumkin. No, in your neurogenic tumor, actually. I did the bronchoscopy, actually, for this patient, it was negative. And we thought that's probably a tuberculous lesion because this is a fibrotic tuberculous pleural reaction. And there is a fibrous tuberculous tuberculosis in the left. It turned to be, uh, we sent that patient for the surgery and it was a neurogenic tumor in this patient. Yes. And he got Horner. Why he got Horner? Rajat on the cervical. Involving of what? Sympathetic. Sympathetic. This is related to pulmonary or? No, no, it's neurogenic tumor. Muscle, these. This is the face. All the muscle of the face, except the deep supply by facial, cranial nerve, except two. Which one? Elevator palpebri superioris supplied by the third, and the tarsal muscle supplied by what? By the sympathetic. By the sympathetic system. I, I will repeat. Yes. All the muscle of the face, supply by facial. If you smile, facial. you will get five muscle acting by your smile. If you become angry, and you are, what they call it? Frown. 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 Nearly forty-five muscle will act to get this this picture found picture all these muscle of the face supply by facial nerve therefore facial nerve is is a, is a motor while the corda corda it will join it which is sensory from from the tongue taste sensation from the tongue except two muscle elevator valvipri superioris by what by what by, by the third nerve and tarsal muscle by what? 
That's sympathetic. Okay. If normally, normally, if you look to my eyes, there is the lower lid of my eyes, lower lid, is touching the, the black, the black part of my eyes. While the upper lid of my eyes, which is normal, Cover. is usually covered Fair. the two two fifths of the upper part of, of the of the eyes. This is the pupil. If you consider the upper part above the pupil, nearly one third of it covered by what? By the upper eyelid. If the eyelid is become just like this in the middle, this is what. Horror. I mean the upper eye touching what the half the pupil half of the pupil just like Epto this ptosis, but yeah, ptosis, ptosis. partial ptosis yes. while if you get complete ptosis just like this this is what Kilometer. this is third nerve pulse. third nerve palsy therefore horner is what sympathetic. is a sympathetic this muscle which make which make your your eyes more pretty beautiful is sympathetic the sympathetic system of the eye of that muscle come from the midbrain pons medulla and then inside the, the cervical cervical uh, segment and then come from t1 thoracic up it return back up joining the carotid around the carotid and then ophthalmic then entering the eye just to supply this muscle this long journey just to supply this muscle therefore this muscle tarsal muscle if paralyzed you will get a partial horner indicating that the lesion is involving what this lesion in the chest this indicating that this this mass is is not usually benign touching what the t t tackling the sy sympathetic you get paralysis of the sympathetic that's why you get right side horner syndrome and horner syndrome characterized by what small eyes small pupil less sweating everything is small and less and ptosis partial ptosis okay okay a chest x-ray of a 66 year old male heavy smoker with hemoptysis and this is chest x-ray you see there is this is what they call it a chronic obstructive chest x-ray this is the first rib the second rib the third rib the fourth rib and the fifth rib is touching what the heart the, therefore the the diaphragm is a low flat diaphragm a small cylinder heart and you got a lesion a rounded lesion you see and this is the pulmonary artery inside it this lesion is spiky just like this spiky not like this malignancy yes spiky it means malignancy in this area it is it is four and a half sorry it is five centimeter diameter spiky there is no cavitation in it centrally located in the left side most probably therefore it is either what squamous cell carcinoma or odd cell carcinoma because the mediastinum is not enlarged there is no lymph node enlargement most probably therefore is squamous and because the patient had got clubbing more, most probably this is what a squamous cell carcinoma and I did the bronchoscope, a wash and biopsy brush taken in from this patient and turned to be sequema cell carcinoma. 
Yes, what is the doubling time in sequential cell carcinoma? What do we mean by, by doubling time? Anybody? Increase in size if of this the tumor. If this tumor, say this is chest x-ray number one, and the second chest x-ray is what? This one. Suppose this is a diameter is three centimeters, the diameter to turn to be four centimeters. Therefore, there is an increase, an increase, an increase diameter by one third of the the first lesion. This is the first. This is the second chest X-ray. If the time factor between these two are one month and less, this is what odd cell carcinoma. It means. Enlargement of it odd cell carcinoma is rapid. Progressive. Progressive. Any rounded mass, if the diameter increased by one third, the size increased double. This is this is a rule. Any mass, rounded mass, the diameter increase from three till till four, it means increasing by one third. Therefore, the size of this tumor is double. Time factor, if it is one month, therefore it is what? Okay. It is osseal carcinoma. If it is three months, it is what? Sequema cell carcinoma. If it is six months, is what? Adeno. This is adenocarcinoma. Okay? Yes. Therefore, this is a, a, a CA bronchus. Is it operable? Yes, it is operable. This because here yeah, bronchus sequema cell carcinoma is is operable. If the patient got what? If if the patient got FEV1 good, you can send him for for surgery. No metastasis. Yani no no metastasis. Distal metastasis. No pleural effusion. No pleural involvement. All these data. He is okay. He is not ischemic. Not diabetic. No. No more core mob mobility in this patient, therefore he is fit for surgery. If the patient is unfit for surgery, deep X-ray therapy is the best for this tumor. Hindi Abud is is 65 year old female with weight loss. She is heavy smoker, weight loss, and she got cough and hemoptysis, and this is her her CT scan. As we said. CT scan, you will see two CT scans. Tissue face, this is the tissue face, and this is what? The window. The difference between these two is the density you put. If you put the density on zero, you will get tissue face. If you increase the density of the CT scan more than 20 or 25, you will omit the lung lesion, the tissue tissue of the, of the lung. You will get a high density lesion in, in the CT scan. Therefore, we we find that this is this is the trachea, and these two enlarged what two uh, uh, there is a lobes thyroid. the thyroid lobes calcified thyroid lobes enlarged nodular more enlarged thyroid. And this uh, thyroid, this is trachea, and the thyroid, this is trachea, trachea, and trachea, and become down, down, this is the arch of aorta, and uh, this is the pulmonary artery, as you see, and if you go to the tissue phase, you will get, you get multiple round shadow all over the lung, round shadow all over the lung, in this Elderly female, heavy smoker. What is this? See, I'm going to Yes. This is this is they call it secondary in the in the in the chest. Secondary of this old female. Female, if they smoke, they are more liable to what? CA breast and CA bronchus. The commonest CA nowadays is what? Is not in female is the breast, and the killing is the breast. While the commonest CA now in male is what? Broncos. CA prostate is Broncos. the commonest. While the killing now is still CA bronchus. I will repeat. 
the communist CA in the female is the breast and the communist killing is what is the breast while in male it was actually sequimus cell carcinoma uh, sorry uh, bronchogenic carcinoma is the communist and the killing is still bronchogenic carcinoma nowadays the communist is what is, is, is the prostate prostate not the breast prostate therefore this this patient got what metastasis from where this metastasis come thyroid most probably either come from the thyroid from the stomach from the cerebral renal yes. and if you smoke a cigarette why secondary here you will get cancer from the mouth to the anus if you smoke cigarette and drink at the same time you will get what more CA of the esophagus and CA of the liver if the female smoke she will get what CA of bronchus and CA breast if she smoke and drink she will get CA bronchus CA breast CA esophagus yeah. and CA of the stomach and the liver and could be uh, say a pancreas is also involved by smoking therefore smoking is is bit what carcinogenic carcinogenic smoking is a carcinogenic how, how many toxic substance in the smoke more than 250 toxic substance in the smoke the highest the biggest toxic amount the human be being take it is by single cigarette the highest if you smoke still smoke you will you will injure your mucosa of the bronchus the body will repair it with what with columnar epithelium if you injure it again by smoking it will repair by columnar epithelium if you still injury the same area by smoke it's going to be replaced by what sequimus and sequimus inside and it, it's considered to be abnormal in the, in the bronchus therefore it is a malignant which chromosome is involving in, in which gene is involving in in in, in uh, carcinoma of bronchus anybody Any? You don't know. The cause of P52 is 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 that a, a anti anti cancer gene. That's the breast cancer. Smoke will destroy that that lesion, that uh, gene, and uh, allow the, allow the tumor to appear.